Hey YouTube, how are you? It's Amy again with Bargain Mama and it is Sunday, so happy Father's Day. It's actually about 12, 15 a.m. and I cannot get to sleep because I have a lot of stuff to do tonight. But there's a couple of things. First, um, in my express haul, I had showed you all, um, sorry guys, this shirt. You guys, it is so cute. I really like it. So I usually wear a medium. This one that I got is an XL because I just like all the extra, um, I just don't like stuff to be um, too tight and stuff. So I really liked this one. I just wanted to show you. I think I got it for like $3 from Express. That's a really good deal. And then another thing is, um, I just, um, so I have a couple of videos that I haven't uploaded actually from still last Sunday from a week ago because I did a lot of shopping, but I just wanted to say that, um, if you guys could please just comment under my, um, video and just let me know kind of what I'm doing wrong. I did realize today I lost four subscribers and I'm just not sure why. And, um, I just want to know if you would leave your comments and then if you do like the video, please like and subscribe below. I am so excited about today's video because I went to two different Dollar Trees today. One is about an hour from here because I had to go do my dress fitting um, for my wedding in August. And then the other one is from here in the town I live in, but there's like $10 Trees here. And I thought I had been to this one, but I was not. So I want to show you guys what I got. I saw these on somebody else's channel and they are the chocolate chip mini muffins by Baker Select. And there's three bags in there and I believe they have... Um, four muffins each. Uh, we usually get the ones from, I believe it's Entenmann's and my husband loves them. And so today I asked, those are like $3, usually $2.99 um, to $3.99, depending on if they're on sale. And those have the four in it, but they have five packages. Um, and so I asked my husband if he liked these just as much or if he would prefer that I picked up the other ones. And he said they were good. So I'm gonna continue to pick these ones up. This one is, I didn't think it was open, but. Anyways, they just come in these cute little packages, and again, they're really good for like to-go snacks, and just, I'm really big about pre-packaged or packaging it myself, because we are always on the go, so I really like that. So anyways, each little packet has um, four muffins, and it's, they're pretty good. They're a good snack. Um, so I did get two of those. So I, actually I got three, but my husband already opened one and tried it. Um... Speaking of that, this is the third one. Um, so I put the other two containers in my snack jar. All right, so, oops, sorry. Um, so I'm trying to be quiet because obviously um, my husband is sleeping and I'm trying not to wake up the dogs because it will wake up the whole entire house. Um, so I'm really sorry if I'm too quiet. Um, so this one right here, I do not drink coffee. My husband does not drink coffee. Um, but again, like I said, my oldest son is home who's 20 and he loves coffee. So I got him today this instant coffee. It's 2.82 ounces, um, medium roast coffee. It says it makes 32 cups. Um, it's not a name brand or anything. So if he doesn't like it, then well, it was a dollar. So I'll throw it away. Um, and we'll get him something that's name brand. And then I also got him um, the French Vanilla Coffee Mate. This is name brand, so it's the Nestle Coffee Mate. And it could possibly be um, a better price in the store. But again, he's the only one that drinks it. So a little one is all we need. And this just says chill after opening. And they did have the regular and I believe one other kind. Um, but he likes the French Vanilla. So this is eight fluid ounces. And I do believe... I mean, that will be enough for him for a while. So I just got that. Okay. And then I also got, I'm making a couple different desserts tomorrow for, sorry, I have to get comfortable. I'm making a couple different desserts tomorrow for Father's Day. And I could have gone to the grocery store and probably got these cheaper. But again, I was at the store and stuff just closes so early and I had to get there kind of late today. So um, I needed 14 ounces and these are seven ounces each of the sweetened condensed milk. So this is the Nestle La Leche or Lechera. So anyways, it's, um, I needed 14 ounces, so it's 17. You can come out here if you want. Um, so my youngest son just came out, so I don't want him to wake up the dogs. Um, and then I am planning, I don't know if this is gonna work or not. I'm gonna make um, a pineapple upside down cheesecake. And so it, it called for um, 
the cherries, but this is the only ones they had at the store. They didn't have the other, um, just the maraschino cherries. And I don't know exactly what these are, but it just said that it was cherries, water, sugar. And so I kind of figured it would be the same. I don't know. I'll let you guys know. These are the Morello cherries by Greenhouse and it's 12.5 fluid ounces. So we'll see if it's the same or not. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm sorry. So I did, I wanted to get the big mug. I believe I showed that in another video I did because um, mm -hmm. I'm making my brother-in-law a Father's Day cup and I wanted to make my husband a Father's Day cup, but unfortunately all I found was the little ones. Um, so I was kind of sad, but my husband really doesn't drink. So it's more about like what I put on it. So I guess it won't be too big of a deal. I was just kind of sad that he got the little one. Um, I was really excited about this. I do not watch this. I'm not a big movie fan. I know people think it's crazy. Um, I had no problems with the theater closing down. Um, I just cannot sit still for that long, but I think that my 18 year old, my middle son is going to love this. So this is the Twilight Saga Eclipse. And it is the special edition and it's Blu-ray guys. And I got this for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. So even if he doesn't like it, if I give it to someone else, I mean, it was a dollar. This is the first movie I have ever bought from there. So um, I just, I guess I just want to see if it works, but it's still sealed and everything. So I guess it does. So I'm excited to give him that with the other stuff um, that I showed you guys yesterday for the Star Wars. And then these, I just got a couple of gift bags. Um, I'm not even sure um, what I'm gonna put in, like I know what I'm gonna put, but I don't even know exactly how many I'm gonna need yet, but I just wanted to pick up a couple so that I would have enough. So this one right here says, let's celebrate. Um, and it kind of looked like, you know, it looks kind of like a birthday one, but we're celebrating Father's Day. So um, I like, I really liked it. I believe that um, we got my father-in-law some shoes and I'm making him um, a mouse pad. Um, and so that's what's gonna go in here, I believe. The slide has a really cute color. I really like the triangles and stuff and kind of like just the um, the brown paper bag thing. I just thought it was kind of neat. So this side also has the same design and it is made by Vorla. And this is the biggest one that I got, but again, I have to have shoes fit in it. But this right here is so cute. So the lets on this side, you guys, is like a 3D. So I thought that was really cute. I really liked that one. Um, and it says, actually, I just noticed it does say birthday on the bottom, but it doesn't say it up here. And it just says let's celebrate. So I liked it because we are celebrating. This one right here, and they, you know, they have a lot of like baby ones that are really cute and like kids ones. They didn't have a lot of like guy ones. Um, this one right here, oh, it had glitter, so I wasn't really the biggest fan of it, but I felt like it was guy colors. And so um, this side doesn't have the glitter, so maybe I'll just put this side showing. I don't know. Um, it also has the stripes in here. I really just like like the vibrant color of these stripes. They're, I really like them. They're amazing. With those, the little blue strings, so it was kind of for a guy and it's by Voila. So I'm going to put someone's in that. And then this is kind of a little kitty, but it's so cute. So this is the Marvel Avenger Avengers and it has, um, all the different Marvel characters on it. Um, and the little string it has a little tag and this side has the same thing. And look at the, the side guys. It's so cute. It actually has like the Avengers logo. So when it opens up, it's really going to be cute. Um, and this side is the same, but that's just so cute when it's open. It's not just a, a color. It's the um, the logo. So that was really cute. Ah, this one was a little bit girly for me, but I really needed to get some bags. So this side isn't too bad. It really is, though. It's really girly. Um, so here's this side right here. And then we go to this side, and it's full of glitter, if you guys can see. So I might just not use this one tomorrow and try to um, find something else or try to wrap more than one thing together. Um, the inside of this also has the circles and it's beautiful. It's a beautiful bag. Um, it's just unfortunately like the more and more I look at it, the more and more it's for a girl. And since tomorrow is Father's Day, probably not going to use this bag, but it's really cute. So my husband absolutely loves cornhole guys like him and his brother always win against everyone we play cornhole at every single 
events when we go up to um the football games we tailgate and bring cornhole um when my son was playing football and going to florida we did a cornhole tournament to like earn, earn money for it so i just got something little for a desktop cornhole um just something fun for him to put on his desk he um spends a lot of time at his desk unfortunately so i already got him the ping pong game and so this just has the two game boards and six game chips I just thought it was kind of cute and just something little to put in there. Um, I just, it was cute. Um, and this is by Greenbrier, I believe. I've seen it there a lot of times, but I just wanted something a little bit more of a filler. And you guys know I got this salted nut roll, but I think, feel like you guys should be proud of me because it's, it's not opened yet, guys. And normally I show you the empty wrapper. So I'm very proud of myself that this has not been eaten yet. And it will not be because I'm not eating this at 1230 at night. So this is a king size, and this one is the 3.25, and it says vanilla nougat, nougats, golden caramel, and roasted peanuts. Guys, oh, my favorite. Again, I get it every single time I go. Um, so then these next couple of things, I'm just going to go through really fast because um, they're always at the Dollar Tree. But I'm going to do... Um, in the mugs, um, for this one for my husband and the other one for my brother-in-law, I'm going to do the, um, I'm sorry guys, it's really late. Um, I'm going to do, um, the little candy bouquet. So my husband's favorite candy bar is Baby Ruth. So there's six in here, um, 3.9 ounces, um, just the, um, oh yeah, I don't even know who they're by. Um, I don't know. It's so anyways, it's just the little fun size Baby Ruth. These ones are for my brother-in-law. They are the five pack of the Reese's peanut butter cups. Um, it, they are 0.55 ounces each. So there's that. These ones are for my husband, six fun size packs, 2.80 ounces. The um, individually wrapped M&Ms. These ones are also for my husband, 4.2 ounces. They're just the normal regular Laffy Taffies. Um, again, I, everything has to be wrapped so that I can put them, um, on the sticks for the candy bouquet. So this one is the strawberry, banana, sour apple, and grape, just the regular Laffy Taffy. And my husband's favorite candy bar, um, second favorite, Baby Ruth is his first, is the Hershey's Milk Chocolate with Almonds. So this has five in there, um, and they are 0.45 ounces for each bar. Again, these are all just for the candy bouquets. It's not anything you have never seen before. Um, I know there's more candy. Okay. I thought this was really cute. Oh, I did get another bag, so I can probably not use the circle one. This one is for my father-in-law. Um, we're making him a shirt and I bought him some barbecue stuff and things like that. But anyways, this has just the fish on it. You guys, that's so cute. I'm trying to get it in there. Um, and this side has the same just the fish except for it's not silver on this side but he's not gonna care and then on the inside it's kind of like um I don't know like the Fisher's box I don't know guys but I just thought it was really cute and it was like I said I was looking for guys things so this is really cute for my father-in-law um I'm gonna try to go fast but I really want to get all this done at once um, because like I said, I am kind of far behind in my videos. I have three more. I think that I have to, um, send out. Um, and then I still have my giveaway to do for my 50 and my 100 subscribers. Um, so I will be doing that this next week. So I don't mean to interrupt, but, um, so this next week I will be doing the 50 and the 100 subscribers, um, giveaways. And so I will just be, um, when I do my video, I will just ask that you guys, um, comment below and then you will be entered. And I'm really excited. I think that one of them is going to be, um, like, a uh, I don't want to say a girly giveaway, but like maybe nails and stuff like that, makeup. And then I think the other one's going to be a craft giveaway. So anyways, Milky Way, this is for my brother-in-law. There's six bars in here. Um, again, individually wrapped so that I can put them, um, in his um in his cup okay guys this is so cute i i did get two so i got two of these and they're just more of the blind boxes um i am still waiting for my niece and them to come up but i might just do them with my kids this week and um video up for you guys so this is assassin's creed and it's a pretty big named video game right now so it's one mystery figure and um 
it says 12 plus and they're series one and these are the people that you can get um i don't know anything about assassin's creed but um i'm kind of excited i'm more excited about opening all of them i think um, so anyways, I got two of those and I will be doing, um, that this week. I found this. So they had the Jeopardy card game guys, and then they had a Wheel of Fortune card game. And, um, I looked at both of them and I don't know, the Wheel of Fortune just wasn't really for me, but I looked in this one and I really liked the Jeopardy one. And thank goodness I got those plastic bins in my last haul because I have already ripped the box on this, just opening it and trying to look. So this has 54 cards with instructions. And it's really cool. It's just like pop culture for 200. And then, so that's one side of it. And then you just kind of lay them all out. And then this is the other side. And it just has like double jeopardy answers. It has all the money on there. And then it has like the questions. What is the monarch, what? What is the monarch butterfly? So it's just cute little questions and stuff. I really liked this one. Um, and it says, enjoy everyone's favorite quiz show with this quick to play travel card game. The deck plays out like a full episode complete with Jeopardy, double Jeopardy and final Jeopardy rounds. So I'm kind of excited about playing that. Um, and it does say it's for the card, but I'll just put it in my closet with all of our games. Um, Cause we love playing games. I'm sorry, my foot is going to sleep. I'm gonna have to move my legs. Oh my gosh. Okay. So then I did get three more of the beads. I believe I showed you in a different one. My husband and I are doing a project. Um, we're making the tabletop um, fire, plate, fire pits. Um, and we did not buy enough. So anyways, this is the clear. It was the 10 ounce of the glass gem beads. And then I got two more of the blue, green, and white ones that were my favorite. Um, and I did finish painting it tonight. So... When it's all done and we get to put it together, I will definitely um, show you guys what it looks like. And then you guys, this, I'm gonna show you one thing that's not from the Dollar Tree, but um, it's from Home Depot. But my husband and I were at Home Depot and he doesn't know I got this. So I have to, hopefully he doesn't hear. So he does a lot of woodwork. So he really wanted this for Father's Day. So I went back tonight and I got it and it's, I don't even honestly know, a framing square. Um, and it's by Empire and it's 16 by 24 inches. I don't know. So anyways, he really wanted it. So I went and got it. He didn't know about it. And then after that, I went to Dollar Tree and started picking up my stuff. And guys, I found this cute little framing tree or a framing, it says it's an angle square, but I thought if he's making something little, he can use this. So I really thought this was cute and it was $1. So I got him the big one and I got him a little one because we do make little projects sometimes. So I was really excited about that. My foot is asleep, so I'm really sorry. Um, this is so cute, you guys. This is a mix and serve container by Cooking Concepts, okay? So how cute is this? Right here, it tells you how many cups. Can you see it? No, man. There you go. I think you can see the numbers. So it tells you the cups. So you can put, like, liquid measurements or whatever in here and then like pour it out or do whatever. It says it's a mix and serve microwave and dishwasher safe, guys. So you can make your protein shakes in here, shake it up. Those protein shakers, you guys, they are horribly expensive. Um, use it as just a regular measuring cup. Um, I mean, you could do so much. I just really liked this. Um, and again, so it goes up to, uh, it looks like two cups. Um, but it was just really cute. And again, like after you do whatever you have to do, you can open it. And I mean, if you put a protein shake in there, you can drink it out Has a little handle. It was just really cute. And again, microwave and dishwasher safe. Um, it is by Greenbrier and cooking concepts, but for a dollar, that was a really good deal. And my son right now, him and my husband are really into working out right now. Um, they've been doing it a lot and trying to eat better. So I bought him this book. It's called Clean Protein by Kathy Freston and Bruce Friedrich. Okay, so I told him today, I said, oh my gosh, guys, I found you a book and you're going to love it. And he said, if it's not heavy enough for me to lift, I'm probably not ever going to use it. So I might have wasted my dollar, but I'm hoping if I like put it next to his bed at some point, he will read it. Um, it says it's the New York Times bestselling author. Um, it says it was $27 in the United States, guys, like. No, I'm sorry. Um, I'm trying to see when it was made. The 
copyright on it um, without taking a whole long time because this is going to be a longer video because I want to get all this stuff done. But anyways, it shows like stuffed acorn squash. It shows them like good proteins, foods for them to make. Um, it doesn't have any pictures. But anyways, it just shows like carob peanut butter cup smoothie bowl. And he is so into peanut butter right now. It's insane. So anyways, I just got him that. Hopefully they'll read it. I don't know. Um, I'm just going to try to get through everything really quick right now. Okay, we're at 20 minutes. It's actually not too bad. It's like better than I thought I was going to be at right now. Okay. So I want to save this bag for last because, guys, I found, oh my gosh, like stuff I've never, ever seen at the Dollar Tree. And possibly it has been there, but I don't know. So anyways, I just, but I'll save that for towards the end. So I just got two of the bag fillers. Um, this one is the red and silver, and this one is the blue, just for the um, candy bouquets. Um, they are both, oh gosh, I thought they were both 1.8 ounces. This one's 1 1.5. I thought I specifically looked at that, but whatever. They're both boy, by Voila, and um, I'm just gonna again use them inside of the, um, inside of the candy. Oh, okay. Oh, more candy for their things. So my husband absolutely loves soft caramels. So these are where their original soft caramels. I think it felt like there was like five in here, but that's plenty. Um, it's 2.22 ounces. And again, they're just the soft caramels, real butter and fresh cream. And they're just little things to go on the sticks for um, their candy bouquets. And the thing for their candy bouquets, I got two of the longer ones. So what I thought was really neat about this, so this is the 15 piece. There was about five of these, and then right behind them was 12 pieces, the exact same length. And so I was like, yeah, no, mm -mm, not doing it. So these are in the crafter square section. Again, this one was 15, and a couple behind it was 12, and they were the exact same things, ex length, everything, except for one had three more in it. Um, and they are six inches um, long, so I got two of them um, to kind of, um, so these will go one length, and then I got, so these will be a second length, and I got the craft sticks, but I chose to get them in the colored, you know, they have them in just the regular popsicle sticks kind of things, and then they have them in the colored. I just like the colored because it kind of um, just added to my little theme for Father's Day, and I really like a lot of colorful things. So this one is 100 pieces of the craft sticks, and between this and the other one, it'll just elevate, hopefully, the, um, the candy so that it looks a little bit fuller um so and i just like the colors and stuff i figured i could use these for other crafts too so there's the red it looks like a dark blue yellow green orange and purple so i was just really excited um oh my gosh there's more candy in here apparently i got way too much these are just the regular starburst for them 3.5 ounces cherry orange strawberry and lemon you guys all know what those are they were a dollar Again, the Butterfingers, six individually wrapped. You guys know what that is. You've seen those before. I have seen a couple of people haul these, and so I got them for me too. But my husband loves um, like orange dreamsicle things. So this is the creamsicle taffy, guys. They had the other kinds, but I did not get them. You see, I got plenty of candy. Um, so this is old fashioned Forbes premium brand taffy, and it's four ounces, natural and artificial flavor. So this is a really good deal. Somebody, I think it was um, Thrifty Divas, she said that these are like five, ten dollars in other places. So anyways, I just got them for more lip fillers for the candy. All right guys, this I'm so excited about. They have the full block cubes, you guys, wood cubes. Like, you guys, this is so awesome. I have seen them in the itty bitty little ones and I've seen them tall and skinny. I have not seen them in these big ones. It is 2.225 inches squared in the crafts, Crafter Square by Greenbrier. You guys, like these are so cute. We can paint these. A lot of people are doing projects with the dice. You guys, you could use these and it's solid wood. I was so excited about these. So I did get three of those. This one right here, I don't even know what it is, so I'm excited to open it. I have not seen this before either. Um, I want to see what it is. I was trying to see it in the store. So it's, oh, it has a thing right here too. So this is 
from the Crafter Square, and it says it's a retractable holder. And it is can extend to 14.5 inches. And then right here, it shows, like, what it does. Like, I guess it retracts to hold, like, um, for brushes, for pencils, for picture. So, okay, so here we go. And it just keeps coming out. Oh, wow. Okay. And then you put your stuff in there. It's like a, not a telescope, but what they used to put like the old things in, like the, um, I don't know, the old papers and stuff. And then you just put it back in here. And if it's too long, then it just closes to here. It has a little strap for you to hold it. Guys, this is way cute. Like I'm really, I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but this is really cute. I think I'm going to go back and get more to put into the, um, um, uh, maybe a giveaway because this is really awesome. I really like this. Um, so also, um, I had, I think I've seen these before. These are in the crafter square. Also, this is the tie dye. This was green. They had red, yellow, green, and purple. I do have, um, all the other colors besides this one. Um, so I got the green and I'm going to try it tomorrow because um, we're not doing Father's Day till later because my husband's going golfing in the morning. You guys, it says it has, um, this is the tie-dye green. It says it's an eight-piece kit. So there's five rubber bands, two protective gloves, and one no-mess squeeze. So it says you add water, apply dye, wrap in plastic, let six sit for six to eight hours. So... The dye, you guys, is like already in there, if you can see it. So you just put the water in and then everything else is down here. So, and for a dollar, get out of here. I'm gonna try that because it is not that easy all the time. I saw these a long time ago. I did not ever think they were gonna come back. These are the Sassy and Chic Electronic Nail Kit. Now, if you've watched my videos, you know I don't do nothing with my nails, okay? They are a hot mess. But my sister is always having her nails done and stuff. So I got one for her. I'm really excited. And then I got one for a giveaway because, again, I'm not going to use it. But it looked really cool. And so it says um, requires one 1.5 AA battery, which is not in here. But it has, so it says it has the three tips. It has a cuticle pusher, helps smooth cuticles, a buffing tool, buffs nails to a natural finish, and a shaping tool for shaping and contouring nails. So this, you guys, this is so cute. I think I, I just want to go back and get a couple more just because I think it's so awesome. Um, I think I'm almost done, guys. I'm sorry. I did get um, another thing of Mod Podge just because I need it to cover up some of my um, glasses with the glitter. So there's that. This is something else I have not seen by the Crafter Square. It is the brush cleaning pot. Yeah, I could use a cup. But I got it to show you guys and because I thought it was kind of cool. So you just put the brush in here and it just rests in there. Instead of, you know, um, when you have just the regular cup, if you put it on the side, sometimes it tips out. So this and then it, it seals so you can, when you're done, just seal it and take it and then you can dump out um, the water. So this was really cool. Um, so yeah, it's a brush cleaning pot. Okay. I cannot get it on there, you guys. I'm sorry. It's just as tired as I am. So it's, there we go. I think brush cleaning pot. So that is, it's really cute, guys. So anyways, I just got it. Um, I got this again when we were at um, Home Depot. My husband was like, oh, I need one of those, I guess, a wooden wire brush or whatever. And um, I totally have forgotten when I went to Home Depot and got the ruler thing. So when I saw this at Dollar Tree, I was like, oh, that's mine. Thank you. I am really, really trying to hurry because ooh, we are, I am running low on time. All right, guys. Oh my gosh, you guys. So I saved this for last. I'm at 29 minutes. So I'm going to try to hurry, but America's most wanted recipe, just desserts. You guys, I read through this whole entire thing and looked at every single recipe. So this sold for $16 in the United States. And I think it said it's from 2012. Let me just look, you guys. I mean, this is worth the wait, the 30 minute wait to see this show, this book, 2012, yes. So I did earmark a couple things. So what it does is it shows you like the recipes that you liked from other places. So this is Olive Garden and this is the Brownie Banana Fantastico. And then on the side, it's like Olive Garden 
and it has like that the chocolate ricotta pie so it has the different restaurants um whoever max and irma is it has their restaurants banana cream pie recipe they have mcdonald's apple muffins in here so it tells you like the um it doesn't have any pictures but and usually mm -mm, if it doesn't have pictures i'm not getting it but you guys it is so awesome like this one right here marie calendar's sour cream blueberry pie so it tells you like whose it is. So if you went to a restaurant, and I can't find it right now. I knew I should have turned it, um, earmarked or dog marked it, whatever. Um, you guys, Cracker Barrel Double Fudge Coca-Cola Cake. So it, like I said, it shows you the, um, I'm going to be honest right here. This is the Coral Reef Restaurant. Tomorrow I'm going to attempt to make that Jack Daniels mousse down there at the bottom. I will let you guys know. Um, I was really excited. I wanted to show you guys. There was an Applebee's one in here. And they got rid of um, my favorite dessert at Applebee's. It was called the Apple Chimney Cheesecake. You guys, the recipe for that is in here. Oh, my gosh. I, almost, I thought I was going to start screaming when I saw it. Like, I was so excited. Um, actually, now that I just realized it went through this whole thing earlier, I believe it is all in alphabetical order. It is. <laughs> so, Applebee's is up here. Um, okay, where is it? Okay, that's not, they have a lot. Okay, you guys, Applebee's Chimmy Cheesecake. If you guys have ever had this Chimmy Cheesecake, it is the best thing I've ever had. You guys, it also has like, I'm trying to hurry, but this, I, this is the best book ever. It has the maple butter blondies, you guys. It has the chocolate, the triple chocolate meltdown. Um, it has even the strawberry cheesecake dessert shooter. You guys, oh my gosh, this has got to be my favorite book ever. Um, I was just so amazed. Like, I just love it. So anyways, um, oh, I was trying to find another one. It's so good. Um, anyways, I'm just so excited. Like, I can't even believe it. Um, it's, it's like the best thing I've ever had. Um, her, the Cheesecake Factory's Hershey's Chocolate Bar Cheesecake. Oh my gosh, you guys. Like, I cannot even tell you. I seriously think this is the most excited I've ever, ever been. Like, getting a book. I mean, I'm just in love with it. So anyways, guys, I'm really sorry. We are at 32 and a half minutes. Um, again, happy Father's Day to everyone. Even if you're a mom, happy Father's Day to you if you have done all that work. So um, again, if you guys could just leave me comments underneath to let me know what I'm doing wrong or whatever. Um, so, and if you do like it, again, please like and subscribe below. And I will be, I can't wait to do my giveaway. And I will see you guys all next week. Bye.